Welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Katie and I am the owner and artist behind Salvage by K. Scott. I have made an entire business right here out of my basement workshop around painting and restyling secondhand furniture and home decor. Today I'm going to be working on cleaning up this disaster of a workshop. I have got bits and pieces of half finished projects, finished projects, sawdust, paint, everything is everywhere and I need to get it organized. This morning while my family is having fun running around upstairs, I have locked myself down in this workshop. I need to get this space cleaned up. I do a lot of creating in this space during the winter months. Usually during the summer, spring and fall, you can find me outside in the garage. But as the weather starts to change and things are starting to cool off here, I know I'm gonna have to start bringing my painting supplies back inside so they don't freeze in the colder temperatures. And before I can start bringing that stuff inside from the garage, I need to get grounded in here. So the real reason for today's video is so I can share my favorite tip and trick for dealing with dried out crusty paintbrushes. I am terrible at taking care of my brushes. So my best tip is don't be like me. Make sure that you wash out your brushes when you're finished painting or at the very least put them in an airtight resealable bag so that they don't dry out and get crusted up like mine. So in order to save these brushes, I'm going to need to soak them and I'm going to need to soak them for a big amount of time. I'm going to get them started off in the sink and then I will use the rest of my day to tidy up my workshop and hopefully when I come back in the morning, my brushes will be saved. So this is a tried and true tip and trick that I learned from my friends Jamie and Zeb over at Jamie Ray Vintage. I've put all of my crusty paint brushes in this old juice jug and I'm going to soak them in some fabric softener and warm water. Now there is no recipe for this per se, just a couple of chugs of fabric softener and some warm water. You just want to make sure that all of your bristles are fully submerged so that that softener can work its magic. While these guys start off their spa treatment, I am going to get to cleaning up the rest of the shop. All of my paintbrushes have now been sitting in this fabric softener solution for just over eight hours. I'm going to rinse them all out and then wash them with some brush cleaner. 
This is the brush cleaner that I've been using lately. It is made by Fusion Mineral Paint Brand and it is a linseed oil soap that nourishes the bristles as it cleans. Now that I've worked my brush cleaning soap down into all of the bristles, I like to take a stiff bristled scrub brush to sort of comb the paint out through the bristles of the brush. Now that I have this paintbrush clean, I'm going to shake out as much of the excess water as I can. And since I've got a few bristles on the side here that are starting to go rogue, I'm going to wrap the brush in a paper towel and let it dry that way. I also wanna let my brushes dry with the bristles down. You don't want water pooling up into this metal part where the bristles attach to the handle because that can tend to rust and then you'll get rusty paint and that's not cool. I'll be here for a little while longer working on the rest of these brushes, but if you enjoyed today's tips or if you have any brush cleaning and saving tips of your own, please make sure you leave them for me in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys do with your brushes. As always, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, tap that subscribe button, and I will catch you guys next time.